Okay, in this video, I want to talk about ciliary contraction. So this is contraction of the ciliary muscles in the eye. So let's have a look at the anatomy first. Here's the outside of the eyeball, and this is where the light comes in. Just here you have a lens, and then off these lens you've got these little bands. Up here, this is the cornea, over here that's the iris, and down here is a sclera. The cornea is clear, and the iris is coloured, and the sclera is white. Now these little bands I spoke about, they're called zonules, and they're attached to the ciliary muscles. So now I want to do a little drawing that's a little less anatomically correct. Here's our eyeball again, and here's an outstretched lens. Now this lens is under tension, and so the zonules are under tension, and that's why it's stretched out. Now in here, I'm just going to draw in some diagrammatic ciliary muscles, and you can see that if they're relaxed, then the tension on the zonules is going to be great. So we're going to have taut zonules. However, in the other case where the ciliary muscles are contracted, I'll draw the situation. This time, we have a fat lens, and the zonules are very relaxed. They would still have the tension on them like this, except that the ciliary muscles are now contracted. And this takes the weight and the tension off the zonules. So with taut ciliary muscles, we get relaxed zonules, and this allows the lens to bulge. So this is what we use when we're looking at objects at a uh, long distance, and this is what we use when we're looking at objects at a short distance. And that's ciliary muscle contraction.